so yeah today we are going to design this macrosty patch antenna tighter with compact low profile wide band filtering antenna without any additional filtering structures uh, so yeah this is what our antenna will look like it is having to transmission line act as antenna and this is the back side of it and we are going to excite with microsty patch antenna for the microsty wave guide network <clears throat> and the dimensions are listed here we can take the screenshot so yeah mm, we are going to design on FR4 substrate first of all we will design substrate <clears throat> Uh, dimension again will put minus ws by 2 to ws by 2 length will be 0 to ls height will be minus 0 to ts and we can load our material from here and we are going to use the material called fr4 always we use lossy material and yeah width of our substrate will be around 29 mm length is 35 and thickness is 0 0.8 mm Okay. You can see this is what our microscopic patch antenna looks like. Now we will design so, yeah. mm -hmm. now we will design our first feed network if you can see this paper. This is the first feed we'll design, then second one. Okay. Now first feed. We will start. And you can remember the dimensions, which is L5 and W5. Okay. We can track the brick again. This will be our feed first. Width will be minus W by 2 to W by 2. Length will be 0 to LF. Height will be 0 to HC. And we'll change material as you see here. Okay, click on OK. Uh, width is around 2.1 mm and the length is around 10 mm. Height is 0 0.035. Okay, with connected with that, we will have our second field whose width is minus W4 by 2 to W4 by 2. And length should start from LF, that is the length of our first field, and it should go to LF plus L4, right? And height will be at 3. You can check also. Yeah, W4 is around 1.6 mm, and the length is around 15. All these dimensions you can cross check here also, okay? In the table also it is mentioned. Click on OK. So yeah, our top feed network is completed. Now we'll design the ground. So for ground, we have to rotate our substrate, select the back face, use the extrude face operation, give height as HC, change the material to, yeah, PUC will be perfect, click on OK. Now what is the novelty in the structures is the, uh, how the ground layer has been designed, okay? So there is half, circular shape has been plotted out and uh, this type of strip has been used in the ground stage. So uh, to make out half of, first we have to uh, use the UVW coordinate system and we'll try to move this WCS at some distance around offset we'll put. Okay. Again, this can be used as offset a parametric also for your case. Offset is around 3 I'm going to keep. And here I'm going to design my uh, circle I can say. I'll put here name as a delete. And radius will be R. Or you can take W3 given in the paper. You can check it here. W3 is the diameter which is around 28. Okay, so we can take half as a 14 as a radius. And uh, yeah, height will be, let's see, 
if you click on preview it will ask you w3 value which will take as a 14 because we have to give the radius value it looks perfect click on okay now we have to slice it by uv plane right so we have to rotate our axis by 90 degree so which one we have to rotate we will rotate z at a degree of 90. Okay. Hopefully this works. Uh, you can right click here. We'll have some operation called slice by UV plane. If you do, you can see it here. It has been divided into two portions. We'll first see where is our distance. Yeah. area. We don't want this one. So first of all, we'll delete that. And second, we will use this operation called Boolean subtract. Now, yeah, hopefully up to this, you understood like how it has been created. Okay, this half portion out. Uh, now we will create this L2, W2, L3, and W1 here. Is that fine? We'll select our this point as a middle point where we'll align the WCF coordinate. Again, we will rotate back our uh, U to 90 degrees. So it will be proper. Yeah. Now we will design our first uh, this one strip uh, and give us STR1 and in U axis, the dimensions will be uh width is w2 right so which we have to carry out throughout the time so width will be w2 length will be l2 so minus w2 by 2 to w2 by 2 length will be 0 to l2 yeah and height will be 0 to minus hc click on okay w2 is around 1 mm and L2 is 6 mm. Yeah. Why we have taken HC as negative, we can cross check here because we have selected our top middle part. Then we have to go back, so we have to use minus HC. Okay, hopefully this is understood for all. Now we will design this W1 uh, with the width of W2. Okay. Now what we have to do, we have to come here at the center. Again, we have selected the top part means we have to use height as minus hc. So we'll give here as a perspective. Along the axis, it will be w1, right? Minus w1 by 2 to w1 by 2. V axis will be w2, same as it is. Sorry. And height will be minus hc. w1 is 14.5. OK. Yeah, it is done. Now, our next component, what we have to design is L3. So for L3, we'll come here again. Align WCS. This will be our 1, 2, 3. So yeah, along the axis, it will be W2, right? And along the axis, it will be L3. And height will be minus HC. You can cross check, okay? So whenever you give anything, you have to check this one. How it is there and all. So yeah. Uh, so these are the dimensions you need to give. Along the axis, it will be W2. V axis it will be L3 and along W it will be minus H3. Click on OK and do the preview. You can see your success will be created. Now we need to be this one on this side also. So align WCF here and double click on this one. Use the mirror image along U axis. Keep a copy of that. Click on OK. Now, yeah, hopefully. We can see like our uh, structures is already completed. We can start our simulation. Yeah, before that, what we can do is like,
we have to exit this. So for that zoom in, select your face, go to home, macros, port, solver, port, calculate port extension coefficient, calculate, construct and close. And uh, to do or check the gain also, we need to, yeah, for if you we can click on apply. Before that, you have to set up the frequency and we'll check till 9 they need. So we can go from 0 to 10. Now we can assign our E field, H field, and RCS or for field. And for broadband, we can do this one as well. Okay, hopefully, this is understood for us. Now we can start our simulation. Once you do the simulation, as mine is already simulated, here in scattering parameter, you can see this resulting frequency is very much perfect from around 4.4 gigahertz to 6.9 gigahertz. Again, by optimizing this, you can make this bandwidth on lower frequency or higher frequency as well. And by doing post processing, I'll show you here itself by using post processing setup like this, you can do gain versus uh, frequency uh, all over the band and you can just evaluate it. And in table uh, 1D result, you can see the gain over a frequency band. So hopefully it is understood for all. And